Welcome to Accounting in Focus. In this video, we are going to record the journal entries needed to record the issuance of a $50,000 bond under each of the following scenarios. So in the first scenario, the bond issue price was $46,768. These are actually the numbers from the calculation video on the bonds. So if you did not watch that video and you're wondering where these numbers came from, you might want to go back and watch the one on calculating um, the bond issue price. Okay, so the bond issue price is 46000 and the face value is 50000 which means on this one we have a discount. And I just, I kind of like to, you know, I like to identify that. This is a discount. Okay, so let's think about what's going on in this transaction. So the company is receiving cash in exchange for a liability, right? And that liability is called bonds payable. So how much cash is the company receiving? Well, if the bond issue price was 46000 that's what the company is receiving, $46,768. But how much is the company going to have to pay back? Well, remember, it's a $50,000 bond, which means the company has to pay back $50,000. Okay, <clears throat> so now there's a difference here, and the difference would be a debit of $3,232 that difference is discount on bonds payable. Okay, and that discount on bonds payable is actually a contra account to the bonds payable account. Okay, so that's the first one. So now how about the second one? The second one, we have a bond issue to 50,000. The face value is 50,000, so this is par. Okay, so par is actually really easy because we're getting cash in exchange for a bonds payable. How much cash is the company receiving? 50,000. How much is the liability? 50,000. So that one's actually really easy. Okay, so now let's look at the third one. In the third one, my bond issue price is 53,000, which is more than the face value. So in this one, I've got a premium. Okay, so the company is receiving cash. We still have a bond payable. Okay, so let's see what's happening in this one. So how much cash is the company receiving? If the issue price is 53000 the company is receiving 53000 Okay, my bonds payable, how much are they going to have to pay back? They're going to have to pay back $50,000, which means I need a credit of 5000 I'm sorry, of $3,510 in order to make this balance that is called, if this is a discount on bonds payable, this is a premium on bonds payable. And see, that's it. So the journal entries are relatively simple. What I always do is I always do the cash first, then I do the bonds payable, then I calculate the difference that needs to be plugged in and the difference is either a discount if the issue price is less than the face value of the bond or a premium if it's more than the face value of the bond. That's it.